I'm Tanya Roxburgh. I'm curious, what would you do if you found a mermaid washed up on the beach? Would you ring for an ambulance, call the police, or would you poke it in the eye with a stick? The answer to that question can be found in my book, Charlie Tangaroa and the Creature from the Sea, which has been shortlisted for the New Zealand Book Awards for children and young adults. But I'm here today to talk to you about a little hint that I think is really helpful for your writing, and it's what I like to call stinky first draft. And I call it SFD, and I tell my students to remember to give permission to write stinky first draft. And that's where you write your ideas, ideas down for the first time. No one's going to see it. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes, doesn't matter if you have spelling errors, or if you can't quite get your story going in the right direction. You just write it all down and you give yourself permission to make those mistakes, come up with those crazy ideas. But it's also the draft that you don't allow anybody else to see, which is kind of good because it means that no one's going to worry about your mistakes. What you do is you put your stinky first draft to the side, you let it rest for a bit, and then you come back to it. And when you come back to it with fresh eyes, you can see places where you can make the ideas better, you see mistakes, you can go, oh, I don't need that sentence. And maybe it's at that second draft that you give to a friend to, to read, to critique, or your teacher to have a look at, and make some suggestions. And again, you put it to the side, you leave it, and you come back to it maybe a day or two later, a week later, and you fix up, you develop it, and you make it into a great final draft. So that's my hint, and um, I hope you do well with your writing. Cheers.